634 on your Wednesday morning. Bike shops in KC say that foot traffic really has picked up ahead of their peak season because gas prices are also picking up. They say it's a big reason people want to see something else. Let's get to KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon live in Kansas City. So Daniela, biking really picked up over the last couple of years, yeah. of course, in the pandemic and then shortages impacting everyone. It's just been a lot. So how easy will it be for people to make this transition if they're thinking about it? Are there bikes to get right now? Hey, good morning, Taylor and Lindsay. Well, it's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride, if you will, trying to get your hands on certain bikes. Stores like Midwest Cyclery tell me they're still dealing with limited inventory. And on top of this, ordering a bike, well, won't be as easy as riding one due to shipping delays. But the gas prices are have reached a point where people are braving on the dreary weather. And we saw that when we went and interviewed them yesterday with people braving on the weather to try to get to and from work. So they are straddling up or they are saddling up, I should say and strapping on a helmet and trying to save a couple of dollars right now. Now I want you to take a look at Midwest Cyclery showroom right now. They say despite some limited supply, people can still come in and get fitted for a bike, but manufacturers have increased prices 9 to 17 percent. And if you're looking to fix your bike, you won't be the only one. Repair orders are also through the roof with the shop getting double the repair orders they used to before the pandemic. And even people who already own a bike are coming to their store for tips on how to to safely roam the streets of Kansas City. Finding the easiest route, the safest route to get to and from work, um, and like I was saying, the city's putting in the infrastructure that's going to be safe for them. We are leaps and bounds of ahead of where we were. We are still leaps and bounds behind where we could be. Um, but that takes time and understanding that the cycling community, the walking community, the runners, they all need a safe avenue. And good news for us, KC, the city is planning on adding 15 more miles of expanded bike lanes throughout the city all throughout the next or throughout 2022. And in addition to this, they're also planning on uh, working on a five year extension plan, which they plan to present to city council coming up next month. Taylor and Lindsay. So, Daniela, with ridership increasing, that opens the door for bikes being stolen, too. Uh, for people that haven't ridden a bike in a little while, give us some tips on how to make sure your bike is protected as you ride around town. I was going to say, is it because it looks like I haven't ridden a bike in a while? Is that why you're saying that, Taylor? But hey, if you're watching at home, yes, KCPD says bike thefts are down and they want to keep it that way. But here are some tips for you guys at home. They say to invest in a pretty decent bike lock. They say that goes a long way. And on top of that, make sure you jot down your bike serial number. So in case it does get stolen, police can easily track that down as well. And another great tip is to make sure it's stored in a safe location. They tell me that these crimes are a crime of opportunity. So protecting your equipment and your bike really goes a long way. I would never think to write down a serial number. I didn't know they myself. had a serial Maybe number. Absolutely there you not. go. Good advice, Daniela. Thank you very much.